this is probably the area I'm spending most of my time in. I think it's one of the most important things. Let me frame this in a way that hopefully you get. So the question is, what matters most to the greatest leaders out there? Whether it's Steve Jobs, Martin Rothblatt, Elon Musk, Martin Luther King, uh, you know, whoever it might be, what is it that enabled them to be extraordinary leaders? Was it you know, the technology they had? Was it the money they had? Or was it the mindset they had? And I think everybody would agree that what enabled these leaders to navigate you know, challenges and opportunities was their mindset, right? Your mindset is how you deal with things in an instant. You know, and if your mindset is that important, one of the questions I have for you is what mindset do you have? And what mindset do you need to navigate the decade ahead? I think it's one of the most critical questions because every day that we're bombarded by CNN, I call the crisis news network, our mindset goes towards scarcity and fear. Now, let's be clear, our brains, our neocortex is a neural net. And how do you train neural nets? You train neural nets by giving them evidence after evidence after evidence after evidence, right? So if you're watching the crisis news network, a constantly negative news network, and you're seeing every murder on the planet delivered to you over and over again in color in your living room, you're gonna be in fear and scarcity, I guarantee you. But that is a mindset that puts you back on your heels and is the worst place from which to build an EXO and be an exponential entrepreneur. So for me, there are six key mindsets that I teach, uh, that I read about, that I practice myself. Uh, and I'm just talk about a few of these one second, because I think they're that important. I think mindsets, uh, I could add purpose-driven mindset to this list, which is your MTP. It should be, you know, step zero on here. But I think your mindset is the most important asset you have. So we talk about a curiosity mindset, really. It's about asking great questions. It's about driving creativity. It's about staying adaptable. It's about being able to pivot and evolve. The curiosity mindset that beginner's mind, as Salim mentioned, is fundamental uh, to you. And if you're stuck reacting because of this is the way it used to be in fear and scarcity, you're stuck. You're not adaptable. You're not agile. You're the dinosaur, not the furry mammal when the asteroid is striking. The second mindset, which uh, Abundance 360 is named for, is this abundance mindset. And I've got uh, right here, I have these mindset mugs. Um, and mine is uh, my abundance one. And on the back it says, how would you live, a li uh, how would you live life? if there was no scarcity. What does yours say? How can you create a life? Which, which one do you have? I've got the exponential 10 to the 9 plus mindset, which is how can you create a life of 10x impact? Right, so your mindset is shaped all the time. It's shaped by the people you're with and the conversations you're having. It's shaped by what's on your wall, what you're watching, what you're reading. I guide and guard my mindset every moment of the day. Uh, it is that fundamentally critical to me. Uh, abundance mindset is a perspective shift. It's a realization that there is nothing truly scarce. You know, what I talk about in, uh, we talked about this in abundance, talk about this in uh, EXO 2.0, is with a scarcity mindset, if you have a pie and people are coming over for dinner and more people come over, you have to slice the pie into thinner and thinner slices. And in an abundance mindset, you know, it's, no, we're gonna bake more pies, right? It's a perspective shift. We don't have water scarcity on the world. We live on a planet two-thirds covered by water. Yes, 97.5% is salt, 2% is ice. We fight over half a percent. But there's technologies coming. We're about to launch a hundred plus million dollar X prize for large scale desalination coming up. So technology is a, is a resource liberating force. Right? Technology enables you to liberate resources like solar, like fusion, like water. Two more mindsets. An exponential mindset, I think, is fundamental to our EXO conversation here today. You know, uh, it's the notion that we're going to make as much progress in the next decade as we have in the past century. And it's understanding as an entrepreneur, as a leader, that every company is going to be transformed, every industry is going to be transformed. And you have to be looking at disrupting yourself before someone else does. 
The final mindset I'll, mis I'll mention here is a moonshot mindset. And I've learned this mostly from my friend Astro Teller, you know, who says, listen, uh, in a moonshot mindset, you're looking to go 10 times bigger, 1,000%, when the rest of the world is looking to improve by just 10%. And moonshots are one of the most extraordinary things. And I, if I could uh, wish anything for my kids and for all the entrepreneurs I support is for them to find that MTP and that juicy uh, moonshot that drives them, that sense of accomplishment. Amazing. And, and just consider how, I love what you said about you spend every minute of the day managing your mindset, right? Yeah. How many people kind of have the self-reflection to do that? Am I in a scarcity or an abundance mindset? If you're trying to kind of build a company and build uh, or navigate any of this world, you need to be able to operate and self-manage your own mindset. I think that's so, so critical. And by the way, as a CEO, as a leader, your mindset becomes the pervasive mindset inside your organization. If you're in fear and scarcity, so are your employees, right? Uh, you need to lead by example in the mindset and build the structures, I don't care if it's the posters on the walls, the mugs, the conversations, the filter by which you employ people. Uh, do they have the right mindset? Uh, critically important. Last night when you and I were trying to finish this, uh, we had a mindset of TCH, I call that. Yes. Tired, cranky, and hungry. <laughs> All right, so how do you, how do you navigate uh, some of that?